one of the things that we always need to do with the Apostle John or the Apostle Paul is he learned how to write epistles at the feet of his mentor Gamaliel. And Gamaliel was probably one of the greatest rabbinical teachers of that time, save Jesus. And he was his mentor that, that he was not only most likely the head of the school of Hillel at that time, which was one of two rabbinical schools, he also had a seat on the Sanhedrin. And so whenever there were problems within Judah that could not be answered by the local rabbis, they would write the Sanhedrin, and many times it would fall in the lap of Gamaliel to answer the problem. And so he would answer that problem by writing an epistle. That's where the Apostle Paul learned that. That's why he wrote so many epistles, because he was presented with problems. He examined that problem and gave his answer. So whenever you deal with any of the writings of the Apostle Paul, it's almost like playing Jeopardy. You've got to come up with the presenting problem, the presenting question. If you don't get the question right, you will always misinterpret the letter. And so in this instance with, with what's going on in Rome, we still have the, the influence of the rabbis from the school of Shammai that were teaching Gentiles that you're not really saved, you're saved through circumcision, not through the completed work of Jesus. They did not understand the greater circumcision of heart that is supposed to happen in the new birth. And not only that, we have discovered recently, and I need to do more research on this for my upcoming book, but there, they have within the Dead Sea Scrolls, they have found evidence of a, of a pamphlet or a scroll that was in circulation in the time of the early church, the Apostle Paul and all them. The Shemai Pharisees not only said you have to be circumcised, but they came up, you know, you know how you, sometimes you have, you have churches that when you get saved and everything, they'll hand you this pamphlet, this is how you behave in our church to be acceptable. Anybody ever see those? Now that you believe, you know, keep your hair cut short, sh shave your face, wear a tie on Sunday morning. I mean, all these different things you're supposed to do, and this is what we believe. Well, the Shammai Pharisees had one too. It was a booklet called The Works of the Law, or The Works of Righteousness. And so when the Apostle Paul was saying, we are not saved by the works of the law, he wasn't referring to Moses he was referring to a book that was being circulated that was the law of Moses rewritten and hashed around by the school of Shammai for the Gentiles coming into the faith. For us, and remember, the, the school of Shammai, their motto was the letter of the law, whereas the school of Hillel was known for by the spirit of the law. And so there was this big old long laundry list. If you're going to have fellowship with us, Almost sounds like you're going into a Baptist church, don't it? If you're going to have fellowship with us, here is our standards that you must abide by, or we're going to reject you, and we're going to shun you, and we're going to tell you maybe you need to go on down to the church down the road. That was a pamphlet called The Works of the Law. Now, then they, and they continued to push this, the, the Council of Jerusalem, when they met in Acts chapter 15, did not settle the issue for this school of Shammai. Now, the book of Galatians was either written shortly before or shortly after Acts chapter 15. Scholars basically debate which one it is. I tend to lean more toward the fact that it was Paul's basically him writing and saying, this, this is our decision because in the, in the Galatians it says, I went up to Jerusalem and I presented this stuff lest I had messed up somewhere. I presented it to the apostles. They understood it. See, that's all in Galatians. And there's also evidence that one time the book of Hebrews was attached to the end of Galatians for him to address the school of Shammai. Interesting. That's why it's called the book of Hebrews. That's one of the reasons I believe the apostle Paul wrote it. He didn't have to attach his name to it because it was already attached to a document that bore his name. That's just the Paul Harvey, the rest of the story. And so here we find him having to write Rome, and you still have the, the influence of the school of Shammai on one side, saying you've got to become physically Jewish, you better do it exactly the way we do. 
And then you have Romans who are known for their pride, for their hubris, that are saying, God cut you off and now we've replaced you. That's why the Apostle Paul has to deal with those issues. So he's got these two sides here, and he's saying, listen, you know, this is going on, and which is better, to know the law and not walk in it or have God write the law on your heart, and although your head doesn't know what your heart does, and, and you're doing it because of what Messiah has done in you, which one's more righteous? So he takes the, the Shemais Pharisees, and he goes, boom, 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 boom. Then he turns to the Romans and said, don't you be so haughty because God broke them off to put you in and it's just twice as easy for him to break you off when he puts them back in. Don't think of your sin. Can you see how he's, he's doing this? And so he, he's trying to get across to them that as a nation, as a people of what God did when God found one guy living in Babylon and he said, I'm going to start something with you. Oh, guys. Can God look at you and say, I can start something with you? <laughs> oh, we're going to do something that's going to, it's going to last for centuries. It's going to affect everything. See, that's my, that's my hard cry anymore. God, let me be someone that you can start something with. We're going to start a movement. We're going to start something that's going to make a difference in the body of Christ. That's going to make a difference in the world. That's what he found in Abraham. And so we pick up here.